flow target this is the first type of target or goal that we tell the ventilator about and through this the ventilator will know now how to deliver the breath simply let's say you have a 500 cc of tidal volume you need to give to the patient so simply with the flow target let's have this uh, here is the flow and here is time so this is liter per minute the flow so simply here i can tell the ventilator hey ventilator i want you as soon as the inspiration as soon as you receive the trigger deliver this breath at this rate 60 liter per minute keep the flow at this rate until you finish deliver the breath and then terminate so the ventilator now know that its job is as soon as the inspiration triggered immediately go to 60 liter per minute flow keep it until the breath is delivered then terminate so that's its goal that's its target that's flow target as you can see the shape of this here looks like a square and that's why they call it square target so it's a flow target but it's called a square target another physician said no 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 I don't want this I want the ventilator to do it in a different way I want the ventilator please go to 60 liter per minute as soon as you triggered for the breath or initiate the inspiration but you know after that I want you to slowly come down in the flow until you finish delivering the breath so I want you to come down like this until you deliver finish delivering the breath so as you see the ventilator job here is to keep it constant at 60 that's what we call square here the ventilator job is to keep it constant at each specific point of time as you see so the job here let's say to keep it at 50 here to keep it at 40 and that goes on because the way it looks this is another flow target but called decelerating sorry decelerating decelerating ramp because the way it looks and as you see the difference here the flow constant throughout the cycle the inspiration and here goes to the peak where the demand for high flow at its peak and then slowly come down both cases at the end you will deliver the breath and terminate as you could see now remember the equation we talked about so flow equal to proximal airway pressure minus alveolar pressure divided by resistance so the ventilator job is to keep this constant to keep this target to keep this goal if you wonder it's not constant here but it's constant at this point of time it's constant at this point of time it's const constant at this point of time so the only way the ventilator can adapt to this is by going up and down on the proximal airway pressure so if the patient is bite the tube which means that will increase the resistance that will decrease the flow right but the ventilator is not allowed to do this it's called to keep the flow the way it is we told the ventilator to keep it so it will increase the pressure and that's one reason if you familiar with ventilator when the patient by the tube and if the patient using flow target this goes high and the alarming start going off for the peak inspiratory pressure which we will talk about it later on so remember this equation so this has to stay the way we want it to stay it has to stay and constant here and constant at each specific point of time here so if there is any change the ventilator cannot touch this cannot touch this it only can play with this